Day two, uh, it's currently 6.15 in the morning. There was uh, very little Wi-Fi in that location, so I wasn't able to provide much update um, to anybody last night, so it's been on my mind a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we're 790 kilometers to Compostela. Last night um, was my first pilgrim meal. Sort of a recap of the day. It was um, I was wrong about that first leg being the easiest part. It was actually quite opposite. Uh, it was the most difficult part. So that I found um, probably half the pilgrims that I talked to yesterday had done uh, that first 7k and stayed in Arisen or Horizon, however you say that, and and then carried on. There wasn't. Uh, I expected that most people would have came from Saint Jean, but it was only about half. Back to back trout meals. So I think I probably won't have trout tonight. And um, on to Zubiri today, which is about 21 uh, kilometers, so much lighter day than yesterday, and. My knees have held up pretty well, and uh, a little bit of leg cramping actually has been probably my worst, and some chafing, a little bit of chafing. So, I haven't worn baby powder in a long time. Anyway, uh, talk to you soon. So I've been walking all morning with um, with an Australian, and uh, I just came across this, which uh, this stream here was famous from YouTube videos that I watched prior to coming to the Camino, and uh, took the opportunity to stop and cool my feet off. The springs here are super cold, and um, just give them a little bit of a rest, and I'll carry on shortly on my way to Zubiri. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the um, video this morning, the uh, the monastery in Raconcel was uh, was quite a neat spot to stay. Very clean and um, it's huge, multiple floors. I think it held uh, 183 beds uh, for pilgrims, and there's no chance of sleeping in there at six o'clock in the morning. And I'll I'll post a video of that. Uh, they come through singing a, a hymn, waking everybody up. So I happen to already be up because somebody on our floor set their alarm clock for 5:30, and somehow didn't hear it ringing for 10 minutes. So.
10 after 10 on day two. Uh, I've been uh, on the road since about 6.15 and uh, just came into a town, I'm looking at the map here, called uh, Jurenadien. So it looks like I'm about halfway to Zabiri and um, I just walked the last leg since uh, cooling my feet off in the in the stream there with um, a young guy from uh, Ireland which was uh, kind of fun chatting with him and I, he did the Camino last year and he's back and um, I think he referred to himself as a professional hippie now. Anyway, I just, uh, a bunch of people stopped including him at at one of the a bar on the other side of town and I carried on and hit this grocery store and check out the baguette I bought. It's way more than I need, a couple of feet long. I got a package of ham, I got an orange and some pistachios. All of that for three euros and 45 cents. So I'm going to um, fill up my water and carry on till for another hour and a bit and stop somewhere along the trail and have myself a little picnic.